Welcome back to Ask Dr. Clark. Today's topic, can a narc be a Christian? I get that question a lot. Many narcs think they are Christians, that they know God through Jesus, but they don't. I'll tell you why today. At the end of this video, I'll recommend a practical resource for you, a brand new video series by me. Today's question. Hey, Dr. Clark, I've been married to a covert narc for 20 plus miserable years. You know it's been miserable. And I will stay married because I made a vow before God, so I'm patiently waiting for death to do his part. Okay, she doesn't have to wait till death, but that's another issue. My question is this, do you believe a narc can be saved? My husband serves at church and in at least 10 other ministries. Wow, that looks impressive. So that he can garner the praises of men, exactly, her own words. The men at church adore him. You know they do. He's the greatest Christian in the world. Ever since Jesus, one of the greatest. I have doubts about his salvation, but he'll tell you he's saved and loves to give his testimony. Absolutely, I know that. He's been all around the world on many mission trips, but is so horrible. See, here's the key, but is so horrible to me. that he, Those don't jive, do they? That's the real man. I never thought he was a narc until I started learning about covert narcissism and it describes him perfectly. Oh yeah, the world loves him and he's a different story at home. Here's this, here's our concern. My main concern is his salvation at this point, but he has preached the gospel for so many years to others, so he knows it intellectually, but is it possible that he's not truly saved? How does one fake that in Christ? Of course, her name. Here's my answer. First, a covert narc can fake anything. I am telling you anything. World-class acting ability. They are masters at looking good to others outside the home. They are brilliant in the area of deception. They can fool anyone, but they can't fool you, the spouse, and they certainly can't fool God. Second, the covert narc not only fools others, he fools himself. I've talked to these people, these narcs. He believes, absolutely believes, that he is a Christian. He'll die believing he's a Christian that he knows God and loves God. He's convinced of it. And like this man, he would point to his accomplishments. God doesn't care about that. He cares about the heart. So my answer is, your narc may be a Christian, but it is far more likely that he is not a Christian. God knows because only God knows the heart, but consider these points. God is not listening to the narc's prayers. Very serious. Listen to 1 Peter 3, 7. This is the NIV version. Husbands, Peter says, in the same way, be, be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life. Here's the punchline, and it's a doozy, so that nothing will hinder your prayers, okay? If your narc isn't treating you like this with extreme sensitivity, gentleness, care, love, sacrificial love, then God has cut him off. He's not listening to his prayers. This man that in our question, God's not listening to his prayers. He probably prays all the time. Guess who? Guess what? God's not listening. Also, God is furious with him and any narc because of his abuse of the wife. Listen to Malachi 2, 13 through 16. Some of those chilling verses in the Bible, for narcs anyway. Another thing you do, and this is talking to husbands who are abusing their wives. Another thing you do, you flood the Lord's altar with tears. See, that's, that's pretty impressive. Cry my eyes out. You weep and wail because he no longer pays attention to your offerings or accepts them with pleasure from your hands. Oh, serious. You ask why? It is because the Lord is acting as the witness between you and the wife of your youth. Because you have broken faith with her, though she is your partner, the wife of your marriage covenant. See how serious God takes marriage and the husband treating the wife badly? Has not the Lord made them one in flesh and spirit? They are his. And why one? Because he was seeking godly offspring. So guard yourself in your spirit and do not break faith with the wife of your youth. God is warning these men who are divorcing their wives for no good reason because he wanted other women. Does that sound familiar? I hate divorce as the Lord God of Israel. And I hate a man's covering himself with violence as well as with his garment, says the Lord God Almighty. Oh my goodness, so guard yourself, in, again the warning, so guard yourself in your spirit and do not break faith with the wife of your youth. Whoa, that's serious stuff. Listen to Jesus quoting Isaiah in Mark 7, verses six through seven. See, Dr. Clark doesn't make these things up. I, I go by the word of God. Jesus talking, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. 
They worship me in vain. These are upstanding uh, Christians. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are but rules taught by men. Sound familiar? Sounds like our narc friend that we heard about in the question. It's impossible to be a Christian when you think you have no sin and believe you are worthy of worship. The narc is his own God. Many narcs will be shocked when they do not get into heaven. Listen to the words of Jesus in Matthew 7, verses 22 through 23. Again, chilling. The narc would never think this applies to him. It absolutely does. Jesus says in Matthew 7, Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles and go on many mission trips? I'm adding that in. And serve in the church every Sunday. I'm adding that in. Look at this. Then Jesus says, Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, away from me, you evildoers. Oh my goodness. Harsh? No. Honest. Now, a final message to this dear lady and any of you that live with a narc that thinks he's a Christian. It is your choice to stay with the covert narc, and she's making that choice. But you don't have to. And of course, I emailed this to her as well. You don't have to. You don't have to wait for him to die to be free. We'd like him to die tomorrow. That's up to God, but you don't have to wait for that. It could be 20 years. Chronic emotional abuse is a biblical reason for divorce. Get my book, 20 Lies and start the process of freedom. That's what I would say to anyone married to a narc, man or woman. Okay, little promo here. We have a brand new resource uh, that will help every spouse of a narc achieve freedom. We're excited about this resource. Getting free from a narc, leaving him, and divorcing him and building a new life is incredibly hard. We're gonna make it so you can do it. My brand new online video series will get you strong enough to escape the narc and at the same time protect your relationship with your precious children and uh, keep the narc from turning them against you. The title is From Codependent to Independent. 21 Things You Must Do Before Leaving Your Narcissist. Small n on narcissist. In this video series, I'll show you how to respond to 18 categories of narc abuse. And there's three additional videos, that's why we have 21, that help you in some foundational ways. As you respond to the narc's abuse, you get healthier and stronger, you destroy the trauma bond, you prevent the narc from turning your kids against you, and you get ready to leave. So to buy this video series, you simply go to the website, davideclarkphd.com, and you can watch a free introductory video to the series.